Greetings fellow vendors. In today's video, we are going to be doing a restock and a collection on my two machines I have at a mobile home park. I do apologize for this one being in the dark. I got to this machine kind of late, but it's not going to stop me from stocking my machines. You got to do what you got to do. Hope everyone's having a great week. Hopefully business has been well for you. If you are looking to add credit card readers to your machines, look no further. Um, I have a deal with Cantaloupe um, to save you $30 per card reader. Um, and whether it's the ePort Engage series for your regular vending machines or the G11 pulse kits for your claw machines, amusement machines, machines like that. This machine was pretty quick and easy this week. Don't forget to use the code 720vending at checkout. The links in the, and more information is down in the description. Get you hooked up here so you can see everything that's going on. Had a quarter laying around, so I was going to go ahead and get that back to where it goes. Didn't have much change. I don't think I'm going to take the change this week. It ain't worth it, so I'm just going to take the cash. Didn't have much. The machine did $27.50 for the week. It had a slow week. It happens. It's part of business. Although now that it's starting to warm up, business is picking up. Now we're gonna get onto the mailroom location. Same mobile home park. Here's the mailroom. I just realized the door, inner door popped open, so it's not latched. As you can tell, it needs a little bit of love there. We'll go ahead and get it restocked. style so it loads like a giant ass. Machine has 205 cans. Works great for this because it's a small location and it takes yours. I still shop with this machine a lot. I have been looking at this location for over nine years. That way I know how many cans I had uh, left in the machine. On the note, yeah, so for the Pepsi, the Dr. Pepper, and the root beer, if it gets too low, I can't see how many cans are left. I need to count my So it does tend to hamper that a bit. But I'll just load up the machine up and I'll know exactly how many cans I have. Pepsi and Coke are definitely popular flavors here. Along with Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew, they're close second and third. towards the machine there, I have a thermostat and a temperature probe in there to make sure I know how my what the temperature stays at inside. Now into everyone's favorite part, the collection. $35 for the week, not too bad, not too good either. Like I said, busy season's coming. For more vending related content, like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching today. 